Hey everybody, this is Ed Four Blessing Farms. We're headed out to go drop off our tractor and figured we'd go a little longer route to show off some of the flooding we got last night. Not sure how much rain we got, but I bet you we got 10 inches or more overnight from the looks of all of this. There's no way it wasn't any less. That's the uh, middle Yaywall Creek right there. And right up here in front of us, the bridge way up there that that car's coming across, that's where the creek is usually way underneath. And now it's all up here. Almost up to the highway. I bet you last night it was up a couple more feet because it's gone down quite a bit at our house. God, look at that thing rolling. Even last year, 2018, the floods we had during Christmas and what, no, but before Christmas, I guess that was before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah. Around Halloween, all through there, mm -hmm. didn't even get up that bad. And we had a lot of rain. We was having, look at the yay wall up here. It's wrapped all the way around up here. Where it wraps around this hill, yeah. comes back up. That is all the yay wall creek. Both sides of the road where it's wrapped around, come back up. I either just don't have this tractor loaded right or something because we pulled it and it never felt this heavy before. And I took up 800 pounds off of it. Yeah, see, it's back there. I don't know if she's... We're taking that in to get a little service done to it. Some a little bit of warranty work. Got a small oil leak, nothing major. Just figured while it was so wet, we'll just go ahead and get this taken care of because there's no point of it just sitting at the house. It can sit over at the dealership over at J5 and have a soda. They're going to take care of it. And said if it's just the oil leak that we think it is, they'll have it back to us next week. So hopefully some of this water recedes and that pond is full. Um, and we can get back to some tractor work and some new tractor videos. But this week I don't I don't see it happening. Especially even if we had the tractor, it ain't gonna happen. That's the middle Yaywall Creek again where it comes and crosses over Highway 21. We was over on Highway 77 at the other side. It's not until way around the corner where those cars way up there are. This is all the creek just completely out. Look at your mom's road. God. That's all pasture land. You can see the fence tops right there. <laughs> those railroad tie fence tops. Post tops. Look at it raging right there, just rolling. Creek's usually about right here, <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. It's got both sides. I bet you this pasture back over. Look at this pasture. Gracious. You know that one's full. Yeah. Look at that water. Oh. That is just from overnight. That is usually pasture land. Oh my god. And just barely see fence post tops out there and some of that. Just from overnight. And when we break this hill, you'll see the other side of it. Look at that. That is that should be nothing but pasture out there. I don't even think it came up that high back at Christmas or the before uh, whatever Halloween Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't remember it being this far out. <laughs> I don't think it made it that far. Hopefully, all the cows got up to higher ground. And when they say it'll flash flood in Texas real quick, that's how quick. We're crossing the Brazos River right now. I bet it's up 30 feet. It's at least up 30 feet. That's insane. It's a sad day. This, this racetrack, it's been a lot more than a sad day, sad few years. This used to be, well this is Texas World Speedway. There's been records set there. It's an awesome racetrack. But what you don't see over those hills, that they pretty much tore down over half the track and built houses on it. Anybody that wants to see it, you can go to the Google Maps and look at satellite imagery and search Texas World Speedway, College Station, Texas. And you can see what they did to it. Just, it's pitiful. It was a good racetrack.
Well, I think we found it, John and Terry. We've been looking after y'all were talking about it and seeing a couple things, and we found what you were talking about. Never been to one in our entire life, but I actually went to driving school for my driver's license right there. <laughs> and now we are headed into the store you y'all were talking about where you got that planter at. We're gonna go check it out while we're over here. See, see what it's all about. <laughs> 